Yo, what's going on guys? It is Junos here today, and as you can see, I've got another building tips and tricks for you. So let me show you five building tips and tricks on how to do statues in Minecraft. Before we actually get into the video, make sure you smash the like button down below, and hurry, hit the subscribe button, because I'm on the way to 4k now. So anyway, let's get into the video. To do the first statue, what you're going to need is eight stone brick stairs, one stone brick, three stone brick walls, two spruce planks, nine spruce trap doors, two hoppers, four anvils, one observer, one cauldron, four dark oak fences, one piece of string, and four iron trap doors. So it's quite heavy on the iron side, but the way we're going to do it first is we're going to place a stone brick block there like so. Surrounding this, we're just going to put the stone brick stairs just like so. Obviously, depending on which side you want to have the front, I'm going to have the front facing that way, okay? So, first step I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a spruce plank here and surround this on all four sides with spruce trap doors. And on top of this, I'm going to put a cauldron. On top of the cauldron, I'm going to put an anvil, but I'm going to put the anvil sideways. So, like this middle section here is then obviously in the middle between, obviously, the left and the right side. So, it's not, so it's not like this, okay, where it's basically going long ways here. It's a lot thinner on the thin side. There we go. After you've done this, on top of the anvil, I'm going to put a spruce plank there like so. I'm going to put a spruce trap door on the front and the back side. There we go. Now that we've done that, on top of this spruce plank here, I'm going to put the observer. Obviously the face side is obviously on the back bit. So if I, if I put it there, you'd see obviously the, the little circle here where the red dot is. So I'm going to put the back side and place it facing forward like so. So you see the face. And on top of that, you're going to put a spruce trap door, okay? Just like so. Now, what we're going to do for the arms is where the anvil is, I'm on the right side here where the anvil is, I'm going to put a stone brick wall there like so. On the left side I'm going to do the same, but on the left side I'm going to bring it forward by one, okay. On top of these stone brick walls, facing down, obviously hoppers, so obviously they're all leading into where the stone brick wall is. And on top of the hoppers, I'm going to put a spruce trap door again, just like so. So you can, have, you can already see we've got the arm shape there. After we've done this, what I'm going to do is get rid of the anvil, get rid of the, I'm going to keep the anvil, sorry, get rid of the hoppers, get rid of the observer and the collagen and get the rest because what we're going to do here is we're going to create like the weapon or like that like the little hammer they've got here so obviously we replace that stone brick wall here coming four by one one two with dark oak fences below it and then two on top one two on the top dark oak fence on the front here you want to come forward again by one and place a string and on top of the string the fence here and the trap door we're going to put anvils going sideways as you can see and on top of all this, we're going to put iron trap doors. And that there is the first mini statue design, done and dusted. To the second mini statue, what you're going to need here is two spruce planks, one spruce slab, eight spruce trap doors, one anvil, two hoppers, four cobblestone walls, a carved pumpkin, four brown carpet, two string, a flower pot, something to go inside the flower pot, and four iron bars, okay? And how we're going to start it off here is by placing the spruce plank there like so. Surround the spruce plank with spruce trap doors. There we go. On top of this, we're going to put an anvil going sideways this time. So, obviously, that side's got the thicker side, whereas that had the thinner side. So, we've got the thick side here. After we've done that, we're going to put a spruce plank on top of this again, like so. A spruce trap door on the front side and the back side, okay? Cobblestone walls are going to go one to the left of the anvil here and one to the right of the anvil there. And I'm going to bring these four by one again, just like so. After we've done this, on the back cobblestone wall here, we're going to put hoppers facing down, okay? There we go. And then spruce trap doors on top of them. The car pumpkin goes on top of this spruce plant there. And then on top of the pump car pump here, the spruce slab. The string we're going to put on the front of the pumpkin here, and the back of the pumpkin. And on all four sides of where the spruce slab is here, we're going to put brown carpet. Get rid of this lot now. Nope, we're going to put the car pumpkin on. <laughs> here we go. After we've done this, on the left side, obviously, depending on you can have it on the right side here, I'm going to put it on the left side because I'm going to put on the front here, or sorry, the bottom below the cobblestone wall, an iron bar. And then go one, two, three, just like so, on top of each other with iron bars. On top of the iron bar, I'm going to put a flower pot. And obviously, inside the flower pot, I'm going to put a bamboo. But obviously, you can have whatever you want there. And obviously, that's like a little mini statue, like a scarecrow. Obviously, you can put that like a farm or something like that. But either way, that's the second mini statue design, done and dusted. For the third design, what you're going to need here is one chisel stone brick, four stone brick walls, one anvil, one cauldron, two hoppers, one blast furnace, three iron trap doors, one spruce trap door, three dark oak fences, one andesite wall, and one grindstone, okay? And how we're going to start off here 
is by placing the chisel stone brick block there like so. After you've done this, we're going to put a stone brick wall on top like so. On top of that, an anvil, uh, oh, nope, an anvil there like so. Again, going over to the fixed side there. On top of that, a cauldron. On top of that, we're going to put a blast furnace. And on top of the blast furnace, an iron trap door just like so, okay? Next to the anvil on the left and the right side, I'm going to put a stone brick wall there. I'm going to put one there, one here. And then on the left side again, I'm going to put one coming forward just like so. After you've done this, what we're going to then do is, on the back two here, obviously on the left side and the right side of the anvil, we put the stone brick walls on top of them. Hoppers again, facing down into them. We're going to put iron trap doors on top of them as well, just like so. On the right one here, we're going to put a trap door there, a spruce trap door, and fold that down, because it's going to act like a shield, okay? Get rid of that, get rid of that, there we go. And get the grinder and the other wall in. We're going to put one, two there, just like so, dark oak fences, and then go one up, just like so. On top of this, as you can see, I'm going to put it sideways here because I want one part of it going sideways here, not going this way. You can have it this way if you want to, but I think it looks a bit weird. I'm going to have it this going sideways there with the grindstone. And on top of the grindstone, I'm going to put an andesite wall just like so. So obviously that's meant to act like a bit like a spear, okay? But that there is the third mini statue design done and dusted. Now onto the fourth one. For the fourth design, what you're going to need here is eight stone brick stairs, six stone bricks, four red concrete, three smooth quartz blocks, eight smooth quartz stairs, and two smooth quartz slabs, okay? And how we're gonna start off here is by placing one, two, just like so, with these stone bricks there. On the bottom side, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, the red concrete. Back to the stone bricks again, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, like so. Surrounding this, I'm gonna put the stone brick stairs, just like so, whoops. There you go, on all sides, obviously facing inwards. After you've done this, what we're then gonna do, Place a temporary block there for now, and put a stair upside down stair like so. Then I'm going to go one, I'm going to go down again, one, and down again, one more, with the smooth quartz, oh sorry, the smooth quartz blocks there, yeah, like so. On the back side here, we're going to put a upside down smooth quartz stair there, like so, and a regular stair, and then a slab, okay, so we've got that shape. After we've done this, what we're then going to do, put a stair on the front side here, like so, please one there, one there, and one there. They're temporary blocks, by the way. We put one extra there and one extra there. So we should have five at the top there. Get rid of these three. I'm going to put a stair facing inwards there and a stair facing inwards here, like so. Get rid of them two blocks. So we've got two stairs, obviously, facing inwards there. After you've done this, what we're then going to do, on the underneath side here, I'm going to put a stair there, like so. Underneath that stair, we just placed a backwards upside down stair, like so. And then a slab there like so so we've got like this like a like it's like a deer it's like a deer statue yeah but either way that's the fourth design done and dusted now it's the fifth one for the fifth and final design what you need here is two spruce planks eight spruce trap doors one anvil three cobblestone walls one cauldron two hoppers an observer a lantern five spruce fences and two iron bars okay and how we start off here is by placing spruce plank there surround that spruce plank with spruce trap doors there we go. On top of that, a cauldron. On top of the cauldron, we're going to put the anvil going sideways, obviously, as you can see the fixed side of it. On top of the anvil, spruce plank again. On the front and back side of the spruce plank, we're going to put spruce trap doors. Whilst we're on the back side, we put the observer. Obviously, so the back bit, obviously, you can see the little red dot here. And on the front side, you see the face. On top of the observer, spruce trap door again. Go to where the anvil is. On the left side and the right side of the anvil, we're going to put the cobblestone walls. Depending on which side you want the spear, I'm going to have the spear on the left side, add a cobblestone wall face in front. You can have it on the right there, but I'm going to have it on the left here. On top of the two cobblestone walls and the back ones, observers like so, or sorry, no, hoppers like so. On top of the hoppers, spruce trap doors like so. Underneath the one that isn't the spear side, where the cobblestone wall is, put a lantern in there. And then the last, thing to let, well, the last two things I have to do is to add the fences and the iron bars, which is to do the fences. Two fences underneath this cobblestone wall here. Three on top, just like so, there we go. And on top of the fences here, two iron bars there. So obviously that's a spear and obviously that's a statue here. So it's basically like a little guard. But anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see more on the channel, make sure you smash the like button down below. And if you already hit that subscribe button because I'm pulling the road to 4k subs, so hit that subscribe button help massively. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya!